and now for something completely different as they say so i painted these with a whole bunch of scrap wood and leftover paint this uh this fall it was late fall they've been sitting outside under a um a cover because they don't have any place they're too big to store in my studio they'd take up the whole place while they were drying well they're pretty much dry now it's the middle of winter february 3rd and i brought them down here outside of my studio door and there's the studio um but i had to check them out and because it's halfway nice day it's 30 ish sun is out but very interesting pieces uh, a lot of leaves <laughs> and some twigs and dirt and things blew into them over the winter time, the late fall and winter. So now I need to uh, decide whether or not I'm taking those out or if I'm going to leave those in. This one I don't think really works as it currently is, so I'm going to pull these several boards apart. But this one here on the back of our, sitting on the back of my trailer, looks pretty good airplane going overhead so this one I, I like too it's pretty big my trailer's eight feet wide so that gives you an idea how wide long this is actually that's an eight foot board so the trailer's slightly less than eight feet but again um, really enjoying what's happening in it so so basically how I built this <laughs> is I threw down a bunch of scrap wood and then threw some paint some scraps of paint over them threw some other board over it and then drove over the thing with one of our loaders our tracked loaders and just allowed the paint to explode and and uh, burst out into the wood and then i worked within that context and started manipulating it and you can see some of the broken plastic that's in here from some of the spray cans that were in it um so just something very unusual to do to work with to get rid of a whole bunch of scrap paint um, and gallons, spray paints, the whole bit. So I'm actually rather intrigued. Here's one of the sticks that stuck to it. I don't really know what I'm doing with them. They're immensely heavy because of all the paint on them. And so now I just need to figure out how to either display them or are they worth displaying or what? So any feedback from you guys is always welcome. Uh, this one definitely needs some some more work, but I think this one and the the long one are done So anyway, that's that's what I was up to today on this sort of Almost nice day in northern Michigan along the shores of Lake Charlevoix Very interesting Pieces I've done. I thought I'd share them with you. This is gonna go into the Wednesday raw You can't get much more raw than this with the paints <laughs> so thanks for coming out and hanging with us um, and of course please subscribe it helps me out and uh, you can also check out more work and stay in touch with social media at davidaustingallery.com and as always be kind to each other and keep on painting